How's it going? How's it hanging, Impact Wrestling fans? It is your boy, BQ, and the place to be, and that is the Impact Lounge. Off the high, coming off the high last night from Barbed Wire Massacre 3. And we will talk about that a little bit later on the channel. Here's a bit of news that I don't know that, I, I think it might have went over a lot of heads uh, with everything going on with the um, Barbed Wire Massacre 3 and Twitch and Impact last night. American Top Team, apparently this angle is going to be dropped out of nowhere. This is according to Impact Wrestling fanatic Dave Meltzer. Um, it looks like this angle is going to be dropped. I don't... I, I, let me put this disclaimer out there. I did not watch Impact last night. I was at work. I did get to stream Barbed Wire Massacre 3 on Twitch, which was awesome. But I have not seen the episode yet. I don't know exactly what happened with American Top Team last night. I didn't really feel last week... I didn't get warm fuzzies with the angle with KM. I, I was happy, like, I really wanted KM to join the group. And I want KM to be taken more seriously. But given the way Dan Lambert was always, oh, KM did this, and Lashley looked jealous, like, I could tell that this was something for KM that was not going to last very long. So apparently, which is really crazy, according to Impact Wrestling fan Dave Meltzer, was that Lashley was supposed to choose, ultimately choose professional wrestling in this angle. But then because he let, left the company, they're just going to drop the angle. And Lambert and, and all that was nowhere to be seen in Orlando in this recent set of tapings that happened. So I really found this interesting because I, I've been saying on the channel and on the, on the podcast for a long time, where is this going with American Top Team? At first, I didn't like it when Jarrett was involved. And then as Dan Lambert started cutting the promos and everything, I think everyone got really into it. But people were saying, where is this going? Like, you know, they got rid of James Storm, um, you know, put Dan Lambert over. But where was he ultimately going? So apparently it was leading towards Lashley choosing wrestling, which is really weird because you, you got to think as a shoot, he's probably going to make more money fighting, hasn't gotten to fight a whole lot. And... I don't know. That felt like common sense to me. So, lastly, has gone, and I could be completely wrong on this, you know. But I've been, I'm, I'm going on record on, I'm going on record to say there's no way EC3 is going to be in a Royal Rumble. Lastly, there's a possibility that could happen if Impact signs off on it. I think there is a possibility, but listening to interviews with Lashley and everything, as much as I think he has intrigue with a big fight with Brock Lesnar, whether it's wrestling or fighting. I was not under the impression that he was interested in a full-time gig on the road anymore. You know, he's a, he's a father now. He has his gym in Colorado. So I don't know what we're going to see, but I guess that's another story for another day. But the, the storyline thing was something I was I, I found really interesting. That It, it kind of sucks they're just going to drop it because this was the longest running storyline for the most part. I think it's been a good like half year <laughs> they've been doing this. Only, only to really end with nothing. And it, it truly is my belief that they didn't know where they were going with this. That they were just organically like rolling it over into the next set of tapings. Seeing where it was going to go. Maybe, you know, kind of like with Broken Hardy and everything. You know, like they just kind of, they were just kind of winging it. But with this, I think that's what they were doing. But they had no game plan. That's my personal opinion. I really don't know. But we're going to miss Dan Lambert. He would be amazing on color commentary. Amazing. But he is definitely one of the best, better part of the shows. And uh, unfortunately, no more Bobby Lashley. And we'll see where what, what's next with him. I do get very upset when people, oh, they should have never let Lashley go. They should have never. Here's something. This is the point I was making to someone on Facebook. There's only one wrestling company in the United States expected to retain talent. Because they're they're the top dog. Ring of Honor 